Hey folks, welcome to Banjo-Kazooie Grunty's Revenge. It's the third installment in the Banjo-Kazooie series, but it's the second in the timeline, and because I'm a timeline whore, that's what I'll be doing now. Here's a little bit of backstory if you uh, are not familiar with Banjo-Kazooie, shame on you. But Gruntilda uh, was defeated by Banjo-Kazooie and got stuck under a rock. And for the past two years, she has been chilling out under there while her little hench person has been trying to get her out. And that's where our story picks up. Now this barbecue business is a bit of a lead-in to the beginning of Banjo-Tooie. Wait, no. No, it's not. And the barbecue business ties in a little bit to the end of Banjo-Kazooie, when they had a barbecue. Clearly, they enjoy it. And Mumbo hiding behind this bush here is uh, very similar to the beginning of Banjo-Tooie, in which he sees the evil people doing their evil schemes while hiding behind a rock. God, he made that quickly. Now, this game reuses a lot of voice clips from the previous installments, which is a good thing, because they are good voice clips. Uh, Grunty has her old classic one, Mumbo has his, Kazooie has hers. Banjo's was changed from Kazooie, I'm not sure if it's the same as in Tui, but I grew up with the Kazooie one, so this just sounds so deep and wrong. Anyway, robots, time travel. I mean, this is like the stupidest plot ever when you think about it. It's a witch stuck under a rock who becomes a ghost and tr transplants into a robot to kidnap a bird from a bear and go back in time to change history. <laughs> It's weird. <laughs> Which doctor? You can see that fish on the barbecue there? He's been there for two years. Poor guy. His name's Royce And here we are in Spiral Mountain of the Past. That guy has some crazy beard. Now, although we haven't met him in this game, and I don't think we will, uh, this mole here is the ancestor of Bottles, the mole from the first in Tui. I kind of miss Bottles. He's a cool guy. Best joke ever. And there's their justification for having you relearn moves. He forgot them by going back in time. Makes so much sense. And like in Tui, but unlike in the original, you need to pay notes in order to learn new moves. Not really an issue ever, again, like in Tui. But notes come in single batches this time, like the original, but unlike Tui. 
making all these comparisons to two, even though I haven't made videos about them yet. And again, there are Jinjos. And I don't think I was supposed to get it that way. I was supposed to break the little twigs around it and then have access. But by doing some clever jumping, not pictured here, uh, you can get a few extra early notes, and it's entirely pointless, but I just want to show off that it's possible. So yeah, jump over to that platform, grab some notes over here. Now you may notice that this is not a proper 3D game, and I forgot to, that I couldn't attack there. Um, but it uses an isometric view to simulate 3D. It makes platforming kind of difficult sometimes. It, is, uh, it doesn't always work. And you'll see a lot of that. Our first move is the pack whack, in which Manjo takes out his pack and whacks the ground. It's amazing. Very similar to a move in Tui, but Tui hasn't happened yet, and he wouldn't remember it anyway. Now, Spiral Mountain doesn't even pretend to look like the Spiral Mountain we've come to know and love. The one we know and love has a, a spiral-shaped mountain in the middle, and this one is clearly lacking in that apartment. Gingerdom. I was on the title screen for God's sake. Now, if you played Tui, you'll know what's coming next with the Jiggy Priest. But, uh, I actually played this game originally having never played Tui, so there was a lot of stuff from Tui that I didn't know. Anyway, uh, hidden sparkly glowy twigs will often hide a special prize. Look into them. So yeah, basically, I found this game while I was just window shopping, and I was like, oh hey, there's Banjo-Kazooie game out. I, did, I didn't know that. I'm gonna buy it, and I bought it. And it was, it was pretty good. And lo, feast your eyes upon the almighty Jiggy Wiggy. Jiggy Wiggy was uh, not in the original, but he came up in Tui. And for some reason he has a much higher voice. I guess he's younger in, a, in, in this time period. But he is the, the holy protector of the Jiggy Wiggy Temple, and like, is, a, is some sort of Jiggy God. He serves the purpose of opening levels, both in this game and in, in, in Tui. I know, I, I, I kind of miss the whole using jigsaws as jigsaw pieces thing, but... Yeah, they, they're just arbitrary collectibles now. The jigsaw piece shape has no significance anymore. Ta-da! That opens up that Scary Mouth place. A uh, Scary Mouth is leading to levels is something taken directly from the original. Anyway, I will see you guys next time for Cliff Farm.